So of course I get this camera and I'm like just pumped to film butterflies and shit. I think I paid 5,000 bucks for it. Uh, it's paid itself off inside of like two months and this was like a year and a half ago. But I got work specifically for having a C100 because I'm one of a couple people in my area that has it. And it's only like $2,500 now. It's super affordable to get professional quality video and audio. No recording limits, continuous footage, two card slots, super long batteries, two XLR inputs, sync to your footage. Anyways, all the footage you see is without grading. If it does have some contrast or color added to it, I'll show you a before and after take. But all of this was shot with wide dynamic range, so I get the shadows and the brights. Yeah, so I always see camera test footage, but it's like of a bee sitting on a flower or fucking water fountains, like 10 million of them. I don't know where they all come from. I've tried to include some realistic applications, like, you know, an office, indoors, outdoors. I have an entire reel of low light footage, but that's a different video if you want to go watch that. So these are all things I've shot with either a Sigma 24 to 70. 2.8 or a Canon 24 to 105 f4. I prefer the Canon because I never shoot below an f4 because I don't want to look like a $100 music video maker off of Craigslist. And the sharper part of a lens is typically in the middle range anyway. So I think like 5.6 still gives me a good depth of field and it's a little closer to the sharp end. Also, you know it's the 24 to 70 if you see any ugly shake because that lens doesn't have image stabilizer. I really like this camera by the way. It does everything I need it to. It's so much sharper universally compared to a DSLR and still get great, even professional looking depth of field instead of rinky dink cheap blotchy. Handheld, it's heavy so you can hold it close to your body and it's pretty stable, especially with the 24 to 105 with the image stabilizer. It still holds like a DSLR though. The buttons are in all the right places. You don't have to go searching through menus. Some of my setups that I'm filming have three point lighting and those are interviews. Some of them are just natural. Both come out good though. Really good dynamic range. And there's some download links below if you want to try it out for yourself. And a link to my website where I sell a basic how-to package on making videos.